You know that there are over two million students applying to college this year, uh, all across the country going through the decision process you're going through. Uh, and the students who are here today have gotten admitted by their choice to a really unique uh, place. Um, this school is genuinely different uh, from other places. It's very, very challenging. It's inquiry driven and it's constantly experimenting. We've, we've done some research on who are the students for whom this turns out to be a, a good choice. We call them the thrivers. Turns out that they are highly independent minded. So prospective students, is that you? Like to think for yourself? Maybe not even have your parents tell you where they'd like you to, yeah, okay. They're moved by the passion to understand and be engaged. They're eager to seize the chance to build their own education. They're searching for answers because they want to know, but not to get a grade. They show remarkable levels of empathy for others. They care about their communities. They're socially conscious. They, you students, if you end up here, make this a remarkable place to be part of. Now, there really aren't any grades. You really will design your own education, but it comes, of course, with a catch. If you figured it out, you know what it is, right? <laughs> with freedom comes responsibility. You make it happen. You are the lead author. You will have devoted faculty partners and attentive academic support systems, but you're the owner and the operator. Hampshire is a place designed for active users, it's very hard on passivity. It rewards inquisitiveness. It opens spaces for creativity. It demands commitment. Extreme sports for the mind. If you choose Hampshire, I hope it will be because it offers the opportunity to explore your questions and expand your ideas, even if that exploration leads you from art where you started out to science to politics and then back again to art in a totally different form. If you end up here, I hope you'll open yourself to the opportunity Hampshire offers. Try your ideas, reflect on your experience, collaborate with others, expand your understanding like the students who organized this hackathon and decided it was going to be bit different than any other kind of hackathon. The results of this education turn out to be pretty remarkable. Here's what the alumni told us when we uh, polled them. 99% said the school taught them to think and work independently. I suspect the other 1% thought they already knew that when they came. 94% report that their Hampshire education prepared them to be uniquely adept at solving problems and inventing solutions that other people don't see. Two thirds of our alumni earn advanced degrees within 10 years of graduating and we're in the top 1% nationwide in the percent of alumni going on to get the highest degree in their field. I think that's because they have so much fun at Hampshire, they actually don't want to stop. Uh, in the last couple of years, Hampshire students earned two Princess Grace Awards, a Gates Millennium Scholars Award, a Freeman Award for Asian Studies, two Humanity in Action Fellowships, six Gilman Fellowships, and 15 Fulbrights. Not bad for a place that doesn't even give grades. A central part of the Hampshire education is student involvement in the community. It takes many forms. Students serve as voting members of the college's board and along with faculty as members of their school. Students even serve on the Committee on Faculty Appointments and Promotions. As far as I know, no other school in the country includes students in basic governance and to anything like this degree. So, Students on the committee that rules on reappointments and promotions represents tremendous faith by the faculty in the quality of the students who they teach. Student engagement has shaped buildings and physical structures on campus. The Roos Roadhouse, that, that green sort of varnish building that you've seen, uh, that used to be a horse barn on the president's uh, property. Uh, and is now home to the Mixed Nuts Cooperative. That was all a student project. Uh, they did the, des the design, they decided what its purpose would be, they raised the money, they got it done. The new Kern Center that uh, Meredith described was deeply influenced by student work on the planning committee. Its systems are now part of our curriculum. They're a living 
laboratory. Students analyze how the waste systems work. And I was telling one group uh, when we had some problems early in the fall and strange smells in the building, students did the science to figure out what that was and that it was too much milk coming from the coffee bar and fixed it. The latest project shaped by student involvement is our commitment to become the first uh, residential campus that's 100% solar. As Meredith said, 15,000 solar panels on 19 acres producing 4.7 megawatts of power. It'll meet all of our electricity needs on an annualized basis and avoid about 3,000 tons of carbon each year. Why would a little, poorly resourced liberal arts college in snow country launch a project like that? First, as Meredith told you, we'll save a minimum of $400,000 a year, at least $8 million over the life of the project. That's nice. <laughs> Second, producing energy locally from the sun is an antidote to environmental explo exploitation. It creates local jobs. It avoids the need to build extensive polluting power plants or push new pipelines through poor communities. Third, the people most vulnerable to climate change, to the storms, the droughts, sea level rise resulting from global climate change, are those living closest to the edge of survival, not us. People whose lives have almost no impact on warming, but on whom warming is having a disastrous effect. We have, as a nation and as a community, a moral obligation to do what we can to reduce emissions, and we can do this to our own benefit. It's a question of justice, and if we're not willing to make those decisions about how we operate on the basis of the moral precepts that we say we believe in, something's wrong with the way the school is operating. Fourth, experience is an essential part of our approach to education. Over $300 billion was spent last year on renewable energy globally. That's more than 50% of all of the money spent in all of the world on uh, electrical power capacity. There is a shift going on, even though some politicians haven't noticed it, in the way the world makes energy. Who's going to design that stuff? Who's going to figure out how our society makes that transition? Will it be students who were on a campus that went 100 percent solar and figured out how to address the problems, who helped design the system, who helped do the research on what its impacts were it will be? That, that's who's going to do it. That's why this makes a difference to our educational mission as well. That's the economy of the future. So uh, this is Hampshire College. We had our share of protest and turmoil over the past year. Surely you have read something about that. Campuses often reflect and intensify what is going on more broadly in society. And Hampshire has had a commitment to engagement and social justice since its founding. That commitment has always been and always will be a challenge for us to live up to, a reason for hard discussions, an impetus to protest, and sometimes a source of real conflict. How can we avoid conflict when it's all around us? If we are confronted by injustice, intolerance, and inhumanity, we cannot turn aside. We know that constructive conflict and creative discomfort can be a part of learning, provided that we use them to create rather than destroy, to build relationships rather than isolation, to instill understanding rather than fear. And that is possible if we live as a community of love and respect, cherishing uh, skills of listening as well as speaking, supporting as well as opposing, challenging each other while offering compassion, disagreeing without seeking to silence other voices. I guess I'm preaching like this at this gathering because for those of you who are prospective students, if you decide to come to, to Hampshire, this is what we'll ask of you. This is how we'll ask you to be part of this community. Hampshire's mission is to educate for change and change education. So I make one more request. If you come to Hampshire, let's have a great time working together to create change that matters. Thank you.